Good morning, Britain. Total devastation. Entire islands destroyed as Hurricane Irma strikes the Caribbean with terrifying force. At least seven people have been killed and more than a million left without power. It is a terrible monster that is now raging through the region. And the countries that are yet to face it have a tough time ahead of them. Get out now. Residents in Florida are ordered to evacuate with British holidaymakers facing a race against time to leave as the superstorm closes in. We'll be there live. Also this morning is a Brexit mutiny on the cards. Could senior ministers be planning to block Theresa May's plans to cut EU migration? We'll be asking one of them, the Deputy Prime Minister Damien Green, before 8 o'clock. And compulsory ballet classes, debating club for five-year-olds and optional homework. What will life be like for Prince George as he begins primary school? And will the Duchess of Cambridge be forced to miss her son's first day? Thursday, 7th of September, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Hi there, good morning. It's just after six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. It's nice to see you. It's lovely to be back. I had a lovely summer holiday. I was just thinking every day should start with compulsory ballet, though. Shouldn't it, though? Naughty toes, good toes. And homework should always be optional. <laughs> Especially if you're only four or five. Oh, no. uh, we're going to be looking at that. If you have uh, sent your kids off for their first day of school this week, yes. I know we've had a few first days at senior school yeah. amongst us here uh, on, the, uh, on the desk. I hope it went well. Uh, yes. Send us your pictures as well. We'd love to get some of those out because we're mm. talking about Prince George's first day, which is today. I know, and Mum might miss it because she's not well. Serious morning sickness. Yeah, which means I expect getting in the car and driving would make yeah. you feel a bit... Although I'm not sure she'd have to drive, though, would she? I don't know. Even being in the back might make her feel sick, though. Yeah. If you get that morning sickness thing. Always best to be in the front, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sit on a newspaper. <laughs> That's apparently. a great quote from Susanna Lee. <laughs> Don't read anything. Look out the window, look at the horizon. Uh, the question is, what's the weather going to be like for George's first day, Alex? Uh, well, across the south, it's going to be fairly fine. Okay. But across the north, quite wet. Although, in comparison to what's happening over the other side of the Atlantic, of course, this is really a very quiet story here back in the UK. As we've been hearing about Hurricane Irma causing complete devastation across the island of Barbuda, 90% of the buildings and structures have all been destroyed. We'll keep you updated on this as we go through the programme. Can I ask you a quick question about that um, right now, Alex? It, it is hurricane season. Yeah. Uh, but this feels particularly bad what's going on over there at the moment i mean th this is a category five storm uh, it's very strong indeed sustained wind speeds of 185 miles per mm. hour mm. worth pointing out as well that some of the weather stations have been destroyed so the top gust speeds haven't been recorded so they are likely to be a lot stronger and it's the first time since 2010 that we've had three hurricanes all in the same place uh, so, yeah, we've got Katia, which is going to be affecting the Gulf of Mexico and Jose, which is behind Irma. So we're not out of the woods yet. And obviously, as we know, it's going to be whammy. heading towards Ooh. perhaps Florida over the next few days. Uh, Alex, thank you. It's our main news story, of course, this morning, Hurricane Irma leaving that trail of destruction as it rages across the northern Caribbean, moving towards the U.S. mainland. Now, at least seven people have been killed, including a two-year-old child. More than a million people are left without power at the moment. 